Right, one, my plate here, five minutes late, I was just messing around. My brother's telly broke, so we were just sorting him out another one. Uh, one of my younger brothers. So, yeah, that should be everything done. Um, I've been rushing around, but I think everything's done and ready. So, yeah. All right. If you're new to this channel and you like weapons, you'll like this channel. Uh, and if you're a long-time supporter, there's a Patreon account if you ever wanted to do that, and you can get your name on there for one dollar a month uh shows up better in the proper videos and there's also amazon.co.uk and amazon.com links and gearbest links buy from those uh places using my links that i have in the description and i'll get a percentage of what you spend all right i'll go on to the uh comments now i'll let you know when i can see you yeah i was rushing about a bit i think i've done everything and, uh, don't matter if I ain't. I'll just do it now. Let's see who's on. <sighs> Fucking this, you know. As soon as I start the streams, every single time. Let's see who's on. Oh, that turn my that turn my uh, volume down. That's one thing I haven't done. Not the feedback come through. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm on now. Pretty sure everything's done. You're right, Bob. Yeah, not bad, mate. You're right, Rich. Liam and Scarface. Hey, dude. Hello, sexy. <laughs> right, you put me off now. <laughs> um, yeah, it is roasting. Weapon, yeah, Liam said, glad I didn't miss the start. I was a bit late. Yeah, I was late. I was dumb. Yeah, his telly broke, so we were searching around for an old, an old telly he could use. So now he's got a little CRT. TV, one of the um, ones that used to have a video player underneath it. But they still do telly, don't they? You, know, you still watch the telly on them and, and uh, play your computer games, very low quality. But yeah, they work. Richard Smith said, just did a three mile run in this heat. I'm drowning in sweat. Yeah, I bet you are, mate. Dead not Z, you're right, mate. I think I've done everything, I don't know. You know when you have that thought that you've forgot something. Gas mask really right. The scarf is the worst hangover ever today. I ain't had a bad hangover all this year, luckily. But I've been um drinking when I do drink, only drinking vodka. That seems to make a difference. You drink a hell of a lot of drinking vodka and water, that doesn't give me so much of a hangover. I still have a hangover. But um nowhere near as bad as what i used to get from cheap cider and cheap lager uh fucking hell the worst thing i've ever had is from um white lightning cider that's like a two-day hangover where you're nearly dead <laughs> i've said rum and rum and whiskey rum and whiskey what push or oosh oosh <laughs> But yeah, I'd probably do it. But yeah, I noticed a massive difference when I started drinking vodka and water. Also, though, I would always make sure I had a pint of water before I started drinking. A pint of water sometime in the night when I'm drinking. And then a pint of water the very last thing before I go to bed. So that was probably making quite a difference. Because the amount of water I was drinking... But I think a lot of my hangovers and partly what gave me gout that time was being dehydrated and what it's doing to your kidneys and that. Brian, you're right, mate. He said uh, vodka and water and lemon squash. Yeah. I might start having a bit of, um, I'll tell you what I could have. But I could, I always say this, I could probably have anything now and I've lost a bit of weight. But um, might start, I could probably have, because orange juice don't have nothing to do with gout. In fact, Orange juice and the vitamin C in it, if there's much in it. Vitamin C is good at stopping gout. So, um, vodka and orange juice would probably be good. Uh, and, and the tomatoes don't do nothing with gout. So, Bloody Marys, and I like Bloody Marys. But if I said, um, that's what I think I've got two day job. Yeah, they're killers, aren't they, then? uh water and vodka are separate yeah now both mixed in 
And he said, yeah, I got some pain in the kidneys today. Daryl said, what got you on vodka and water? It was the gout, mate. It was the gout. Uh, on the sheet, it told you what kind of booze, what kind of booze can bring on gout. And it was lager, wine, uh, and, and generally any booze, to be honest, if you binge drink. So I thought, uh, if I'm actually going to drink, I might as well try and go for the purest thing possible. So I'm not putting a load of crap in my going through my kidneys. Uh, yeah, my kidneys. Um, yeah, and then I just decided, well, the purest thing's going to be vodka and water then. Yeah, once you've had a couple, you don't tend to care anymore. But uh, it seems to have worked every single time so far. And the hangovers are barely anything as well. I've been tempted to do tonic water, but at the same time, I don't know if tonic water would have anything in it that could affect gout. But as I've mentioned, I don't think I'd probably get gout now. Now I know what, because I think the problem was I was get, I was doing all of the wrong things. So when I was hungover, that's already worked, because it, what it is is uric acid being produced in your kidneys, and the, the crystals go into your blood or whatever, collecting your joints. It's, it's a form of arthritis, really, but it collects in your big toe normally, and it's extremely painful. Um, so what I was doing, I was getting extremely hungover, and then my my hung, hangover cure would be things like fatty food with really, really, really thick gravy on it. Well, really, really, really thick gravy can actually give you gout if you do it too much. And obviously, now I've proved it, when you're hung over because i think your kidneys are working like a bastard anyway and probably in overdrive uh yeah and then i was doing that so yeah now i don't do any of that shit and i know not to it's a weird coincidence because i was also doing things like having toast with loads and loads and loads and loads of uh, marmite on it and I, when i say loads like two or three tablespoons worth um that can give you gout as well I was doing all the things accidentally that you shouldn't do. Yeah, I don't think I'd get it now. Now I know not to stop. Now I, need, now I know to stop doing all that shit. Weird, weird, isn't it? We just mentioned I'm eyeing some weights on eBay. Hopefully they don't make too much. Yeah, have a look. That's always a good place to get them in at eBay or um, some of them free cycle places. Cause some people give them away, don't they? Because they can't not to carry the bloody things or send them anywhere. He said, I've never had a hangover. The worst I get is slightly delicate stomach ache. Yeah, stomach ache. Lucky, ain't I? Well, yeah. Uh, I know. I think um, Dad's dad reckons he's never had a hangover. Um, that's right, isn't it? Uh, oh, I have them terrible. I never used to get them so much as a, as a teenager, though, in early 20s, but it might be because I just can't remember them. <laughs> but I definitely can't remember having hangovers like I do now. The hangovers I have now are so bad I can't get out of bed for two days. Like I'm actually dying. <laughs> and I've been, I've got to the stage before, I've hung, hung over so badly that I've drunk probably three pints of water and I haven't had a piss that day until the very evening. So it goes to show how dehydrated I must be. I probably was killing myself. That's my review. I said around 2 a.m. tonight, going to the airport for a holiday in Italy. I know, so we have a good time. Now you say about 2 a.m. I meant to go out and look at them um, yellow um, orange stars last night, didn't I? I completely forgot. Brian said cherries for gout. They break down the crystals that dig in you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I did read that in the end. Yeah. What I do now, Brian, I just avoid all the food that can bring it on. And um, I've never had anything since now. But I was definitely overdosing on the stuff that could give you it, which was uh, but totally unintentional. I just didn't, I just didn't know. And doing it at totally the wrong times. Garth, I said, I have uh, just had scampi and chips and beans. Definitely feel a bit better after food. Yeah, bit of food if you can have it. Because sometimes you can have hangovers so bad you can't eat. But a bit of um, food does definitely make you better. Bit of food, plenty of water. Go to the toilet. Get all the crap out of your body. Um, yeah. Garth, I said, my arm like, uh, Scott said, dreadful, isn't it? Killer hangovers. I'm staying in bed now. Yeah, like I said, I've had ones around two days. Laid in bed constantly for a whole day and then by the sun. Drink Friday, in bed all Saturday. 
and by Sunday morning, you can just about get out of bed. My alarm going off. Tell me to do a live stream. Um, Webber's also said, I rarely get hangovers, but I rarely drink a lot anymore. Yeah, I think my problem is, is I binge drink when I do drink. Uh, I have very bad habits of not hardly drinking any water or anything like that. Uh, yeah. But now I know, and I know, you know, I make an effort not to get a hangover so much. It does seem to work. I did try at one point taking vitamin C's, not vitamin C's, multivitamins, so that I was putting some um, vitamins back in my body as well. I don't know if that will work or not. But I've drinking a lot of water as well, but it seemed to work. It just means I get headaches sometimes, but that's from neck position caused by my back deformity. Daryl said, had four pints of lager last weekend. Did have a two-day hangover. <laughs> Bloody hell. And a couple of days of hard depression. Yeah, that's that's the one when it gets you mentally. Yeah, because you know I am. Yeah, does your head in, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, booze. Can bring that on, can't you? Done it. Um, black coffee in there. <laughs> but yeah, drinking vodka and water seemed to make quite a difference to hangovers for me. But that may be due to the amount of water I'm drinking as well. I'll drink a pint before I start, have a drink. When we get home, have another pint of water. As you know, I carry on drinking when I get in on my own. And then um pint before I get to bed and it makes quite a difference. Object history is on. You're right, mate. How you doing? How's your book sales going? Good, I hope. If people don't know, this is uh this is um Object History's book. So check it out. Saps, Blackjacks and Slung Shots, a history of forgotten weapons. I'll do a video of that eventually, mate. Be good, though, yeah? Um, I can't remember what we were talking about. We are talking about hangovers at the minute. <laughs> Gav has a depressant, yeah, makes you lose your temper. My temper a lot. Weed's my remedy. Yeah, I don't get the temper thing, but definitely a, a form of depression and paranoia. That's the other thing that um, too much booze does to me. It makes me paranoid, and I can't talk to people for fear that I've done something while I've drunk. But I've, I've only probably drunk um, four times this year, probably. I don't miss it. I don't. You shouldn't get out of the habit of it because when before I stopped drinking, the time I actually stopped drinking for six years, I, uh, I used to go out every single night getting drunk. And people said to me when I stopped, you know, how'd you do that? That must be really boring not going out at all now. But yeah, it's for a little bit, but you soon get used to it and then that becomes the normal. Yes, Master Reviewer said doing another four lap swim. Yeah, I'll, if I'm off, unless I do this live stream till half 11, I probably won't do a fallout one tonight. But I stream Fallout every single day just because I play it every day. I was on there earlier. Um, yeah, that's just an extra thing because I'm going to be playing it anyway. So I might as well stream it and then I can chat to you lot who's on there. Uh, Dean's a jumper. You're right, mate. Uh, object history said not bad. As I said, yeah, it looks quality, actually. Yeah, it's a great book, I tell you. There's a hell of a lot of, um, well, it, it's the only really definitive um, history of those items, isn't it, um, Robert? Marcus, you're right, mate. As soon as I finish playing this Fallout game, I'll uh, I'm going to give the whole book a good read. I've had a little, I've jumped into little bits because I was looking in the index, and I was um, looking up um, specific bits, the Stephen King book bits. <laughs> uh, 
John Pay said the best way to avoid a hangover is to stay drunk. Yeah, but I tried that once. I tried hair of the dog once, and then I was uh, constantly drunk for the whole 24 hours of each three or, uh, for three days. So 72 hours, whatever it would be. Uh, waking up, drinking, falling asleep for two hours, woke up, drinking. Yeah, oh, I'm not ever doing that again. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Brian said, can't wait for that book review right up my street. I'll sort it out soon. Uh, Marcus said, which King book? Well, in I won't tell you all of them because uh, one or two could give away spoilers, I'd say. But it's um, Mr. Mercedes. That's mentioned in the first few chapters, isn't it, that he has his, um, what did he call it, his happy slapper. Yeah. Did you see the book I was showing a minute ago, Marcus? Um, but yeah, the book is all about Koshia's slung shots. Um, you know what I mean? These type of things. Weighted weapons, blackjacks, stuff like that. I'll show you it quickly. Blackjacks, that kind of stuff. But uh, the bloke who wrote it is Object History, who was in the um, he was in the uh, stream. Second ago, there he is. Yeah, yeah, I won't tell you the other ones that's in it. Simon said yesterday was International Beer Day. I had a late night getting wanked. Well, I wish I'd have known. I might have had some for that. My scarf I said wake and bake. My man Spark said best way to avoid a hangover is drink a pint of water between drinks. Yeah, but that's sort of what I've been doing now. Object history, do they call multiple day drunk binges benders? Now? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, binge drinking or benders, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I think bender, having a bender is probably an old, uh, a bit of an old saying. Yeah, if you have, tell you what they call, what they describe binge drinking is, um, binge drinking is getting extremely drunk on a, um, Getting extremely drunk on a hell of a lot of booze in one night. That's what they call binge drinking now. Um, which is what I do. I don't drink for I don't drink for a month or two well, probably three or four months now, and then getting extremely drunk in one night. That's what they call binge drinking, or yeah, going on a bender. <laughs> but yeah, a bender is normally yeah, if you do a free you know, you go off you don't drink for six months and then you go off for three days completely drunk on a bender. Marcus Bratt said, yeah, saps, yeah, that's it. Darth, I said, improvised weapons. Um, well, it's so all of the Koshias, saps, blackjacks, all of those kind of things. Uh, some, well, you'll see anyway. Marcus said, binge is not usually a regular drinker. Richard Smith was getting smashed, I've heard before, for getting drunk. Yeah. I must watch them. I rarely get headache hangovers, but beers give me the shits. Yeah, I'll get all of it. I'll get all of it. Gut ache, headache. Can't talk to people. And not Z said, I can't drink beer at the moment because of my medication. Half a pint and I'll be shit through these days. For <laughs> sake. Scarface said, uh, I heard they got hangover cure. Bus might call them up if uh, this carries on. Yeah, is that the IV thing? Anything is, when you're extremely hungover, I don't think I could bear having an IV put in. <laughs> I think I'd just be too sort of, I wouldn't be able to do it. I That kind of thing wouldn't bother me normally, but I don't think I could do it when I was extremely hungover. Because I've heard people, this is one that gets me, right? I, I um, hear someone say to me, I had a really bad hangover earlier. Uh, I was dying when I walked up the village to get some food. Well, fucking hell, if I, that's not even a hangover then. If you're able to get up and walk up the village to get some food, that's not a, you ain't got a hangover, mate. My hangovers are so bad, I can't get out of bed for two days. Drink it, I can't even drink water or <laughs> eat food. But yeah, it all depends on it. Time until you yeah, tried and tested before you pass out or fall asleep, chug a pint of water, it works mostly dehydration. Yeah, well, that's what I do now, Simon, and it does work. 
Granted, the old Wimpy had a Bender sausage on the menu. What was that all about? <laughs> Marcus said, four cell mag like better. Best attitude, Jesper. Yeah. Yeah, they're great, the old um, D cell mag lights. I've got a couple. Rough is true. That don't. Like needles. I don't think I could do that hungover. I don't think I could put have an IV putting when I was hungover. Jumbo sale blue, you're right, mate. Marcus, yeah. That's spot on, mate. Hangovers are crippling. Yeah. A proper hangover, I can't get out of bed. So if someone says they got a really bad hangover, but they walked up the shop to get some food, well, you weren't even hungover then to me. Don't <laughs> if I've. Uh, so if I say, you know my hangover. I haven't even been out to walk the dog. Yeah, well, they are. That's a classic example. If you're so hung, if you're so hungover, you can't even get up to walk the dog. Yeah, that's a hangover. Tom said, if you have a IV put in, put it in your arm. In the bend, it stops you yanking the fucker out your wrist. Why must watch a full English breakfast is the best meal after a night out. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I would have. Although I'd have to watch out of a couple of things on there. You know, as I said, because of that gout bullshit, I try to watch out what I eat now when I'm hungover. I try not to touch any of the things that are on that list of stuff that could get give you it. Some of it is meat. <laughs> but there's plenty of stuff that ain't on it. So if I said, had some bad ones after festival, stinkers of a come down too. <laughs> yeah, nice. Rich Smith said, I think I've only drunk four pints of Guinness in my entire life. Bloody hell. You don't drink then, Rich. I know plenty of people who don't drink, though, and, and never really have. Um, in fact, I know plenty of people who've never really drunk. They've got no interest in it, and they don't like the feeling of being drunk. Whereas that's my problem is I love the feeling of being drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bruce, the hangover is when you wake up still pissed, yeah. Uh, and you don't want to be. No, that's a hangover. Been there, done that many times. Well, sometimes that can be a bit pleasant, though. Uh, you know, if, if you don't... But the, the worst one is that, what you said, and then getting a waking hangover. So you've woke up, still slightly pissed, and then during the day, you get a full-on hangover creeping in as you're <laughs> still awake. I've had that. DJ Rattrap in said, Hi, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, not bad, mate, not bad. Just talking about hangovers, I don't know how it got onto that. Oh, some someone had mentioned they had a, had a hangover. Yeah, room spinning. I don't get that anymore. But when I stopped drinking for ages, I stopped drinking for six years. And when I started drinking again, uh, when I first started getting pissed again, I started getting the room spinning, and then that wore off. I don't get it anymore. I'm always dreading that. I always think, oh, if I um, if I stop um. I don't drink so often, I'm still going to start getting spilling again. So I hate that. It's horrible. I must back to the real hangover feels like an axe is stuck in your skull. Standing up makes you want to puke. Yep. Black bricks, right, mate? Marcus said, worst feeling, room spinning. So I'm saying, fuck it, I'm going to open another crate of bottles. Going to be a late one tonight, boys. So I face that being me, you know you got a hangover when you set everyone else off talking about how bad hangovers are. Object history said I get hyped when I drink too much. Have to be careful. Uh, try to stop at three to four drinks. Yeah, I'm the opposite of that. I'm um I think I used to be like that years ago. And I would get in a lot of trouble as well when I used to drink. But now when I drink, it makes me relaxed and I just like to have a talk. I can talk all night long when I have a drink. Uh you know, about anything. I, I, I really enjoy having a good long talk when I'm drinking, but it keeps me calm now. To the, I, in fact, it probably makes me too calm because I can be to the degree where there's people fighting and it doesn't even give me a slight adrenaline rush. <laughs> Peter Smith said, I don't drink more for my health. I'm a bit of a fitness freak. It's hard not to train myself to burn out. Yeah, so obviously you wouldn't really drink then, would you? Yeah. I'm sorry, but said, God, yes, the world is. Best to try and go for a walk, aka okay, stumble, and just make yourself throw up and get it over with. I did try that once. I can't do it. This wouldn't happen. Try to make yourself sick. I don't think it was from that, though. I think I must have. I remember eating something that I thought might have been poisonous, and I tried to make myself sick. 
But no matter how much I tried, I couldn't do it. Not to practice another another worse feeling, being pissed, lying on the ground, uh, still out there hanging on. Then Terry up I said, Did you saw Liam's teach you to all oh, yeah, you don't need your don't need to your British. Yeah, I was, I watched it. The only thing is I drink black coffee there. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was quite good, it was funny. It was more bizarre reading the comments. Um yeah, it's weird how you do a video like that and people really like it. <laughs> it's completely opposite of what he normally does, but I think people just enjoy you enjoy people talking sometimes and doing something, don't they? Yeah. Who knows? It was quite bizarre. The amount of views. Double Sabu said greasy kebabs are the worst thing you can ingest when you are wanking. Oh I don't know, I like that. There ain't nothing I wouldn't eat when I'm uh, drunk. I'll, I'll give you a little example of some of the things I used to eat when I was drunk. So I would get a Cornish pasty, open it up, put some dairy cheese in it, put a slice of ham in it, salad cream, get some crisps, put that in it, get a bit of a uh, meat paste, put that in the top, sandwich that together. Yeah. And then I wonder why I get gout and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, there ain't nothing I wouldn't eat when I'm drunk. Western stuff, yeah, people seem to enjoy the occasional random video. Oh, I just love a greasy kebab, yeah, I do. Minotaur said to, um, <laughs> rather than stuff, next video should be how to make proper biscuits. Oh, because Brad said you're a real gourmet, Mike. <laughs> I do like some bizarre food, I'll tell you that. Bullfrog said, hello, mate. Thanks to Liam's video. I know now how to safely make a perfect cup of tea. Making tea is something I've always struggled with. Oh, good. Congratulations. Can I make a cup of tea? <laughs> Sometimes I don't make biscuits. Oh, I suppose what you'd have to do, yeah, because biscuits wouldn't make no sense, but the um, perfect uh, English breakfast or whatever. I couldn't think what it's called then. Full English breakfast. Perfect full English breakfast. You almost have to stop it. You're making me hungry. Garfay said, you should have seen the state of my kitchen when I woke up. <laughs> Take it, I did a bit of drunk cooking. That's one thing I don't do. I don't do the drunk cooking because of the stupid things we used to do. Like, pissed out your face and turning a deep fat fryer on. So fucking dodgy, man. Um, <laughs> so I don't ever cook when I'm drunk now. But I have done that. And one of my mates frying fucking bacon pissed out of his face and burnt all of his hand and had to have skin grafts on his hand. Oh, my sparks said, alcohol is only addictive to certain people who secrete in opium like levels of dopamine. Yeah, that must be what I have then, because I am I'm addicted to booze. But it's a bizarre one, isn't it? I um I was quite often mentioning that to people that yeah, alcohol addiction is quite weird how only certain people get it. You know, if if every if if fifty people took heroin for a couple of weeks, they would all be addicted to it. But people can drink all their lives and never be addicted to booze and people other people I swear I've been addicted from the very first time I drunk booze. I always loved always loved the feeling of being drunk, even as a kid. Some how booze said I don't mind the odd occasional kebab. I ain't no KD land. <laughs> Cow mangler, all right. Half I said, I oh, surprised I didn't. Wise I didn't, couldn't remember doing it. No good. <laughs> That's so. Cow mangler said, Liam loved the tutorial on the tea. Wolfhawk said, annual family camping holiday starts next Saturday. My family, I mean, my dad, brother, and two, two of my cousins. Women are not allowed, of women are not allowed to come. Don't your booze then, is it? We're just missing. I can't seem to eat really fatty food. Someone bought me something from McDonald's. I have loads of mayonnaise. I felt like death after eating it. Well, I suppose if you don't eat a lot of that stuff, I suppose it would be unusual to your system. I know, it's when people eat a load of vegetables, I can't handle that. <laughs> if they end up at vegetables. CJ Rat Trapping, make vodka chocolate bars. Not very English, though, is it? <laughs> If we're on about the biscuits and the full English, I'll try to think of something English. Marcus practice I used to work in the booze interest industry and 
I could take it or leave it. No addiction not forever. Yeah, I swear I've been addicted to booze since the very first time I drank a bit of wine when I was about eight. I can still remember getting drunk. You know, I was nicking this. It was Christmas, and I was nicking a bit of wine out the fridge. It may not have been wine, but I, and it actually got me drunk for a bit. And I remember even then loving that feeling. But I can control it now. I can go months without it now. It was more of just getting into the habit of not doing it. But I'm fine now. But the only thing is, once I start drinking, I can't stop. So even one drink would mean I would have to carry on for the rest of the night. My mouth Spartan, prep a meal before you get drunk for after so you don't burn the house down. Yeah. <laughs> Dean's and Dumb said, I sleepwalk, eat when drunk, remember going to bed. And I wake up with an empty plate on my bed. The food put away, put the wrong like bread in the fridge. Uh, and then he loads me in. Oh, that's bizarre, that is. Oh, I've never done anything like that. But... <laughs> that's well weird, isn't it? Minotaria said, Mike, I like your sideburns. I fit nice with a beard. Ah, cheers. Yeah, I, I shaved this bit earlier. That was last night. Get rid of the um, bit of uh, growth there. Ah, cheers. Yeah, I used to, I had them up here years ago, and I grew them down to there, down to there, and then they just got longer and longer and longer. <laughs> How Mangler said, when you get drunk doing a party on your home, after it ends, call a taxi to drive you home. Yeah, what, from your house to your house? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Dean Jump said, I think it really just taste of beer, other booze I can take or leave. Yeah, I'll drink any booze. Um, I, and the problem is I drink to get drunk when I drink, so I don't care what I drink. That's why I used to drink some of the cheapest, dirtiest booze you could get. Oh, that's why I started making it at one point. Uh, I must write some gooseberries are the only original edible plant in Britain. We took all the other, other some colonies and were bought by the Romans. Oh, I did not know that. What? There must have been some stuff, though, I suppose, because what would, what would people have had? Uh, with some of, with some with a drink issue, it's a form of escapism. I must admit, I can drink four to eight, four point five, four to five percent cans of lager and be where I want to be. Take the edge out of the shit that life throws at you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. It, it, I sometimes. After a couple of months of not drinking, sometimes I, I think I end up looking for an excuse to drink. Just to, It's like it resets my life almost to me. It resets my brain, I think. Um, yeah, sort of. It's hard to explain it. but Scarface, Frosty Jacks. Yeah, that's what he's drinking. Frosty Jacks and White Lightning. But Frosty Jacks is the modern-day equivalent of White Lightning. I called it White Lightning, but yeah. Frosty Jacks and other, other equivalents. Hangovers of that are fucking killer. Worst thing I've ever had. Bullfrog said, I've never witnessed you drunk, Mike. You never did the drunk stream. No, I tried to. I, I don't know if you lot saw it, but I even set it up. But I was so drunk, I couldn't actually um, get it to work. But um, I don't think I could do a live stream. I'd have to do it with someone with me to make me stop after five minutes. Um, and I probably wouldn't be much. I wouldn't be able to do a lot in the stream. But I have done a couple of drunk videos. I've never watched them back. <laughs> Can't bear it. <laughs> I must bite and said, we ate animals. I just meant there must have been some greenery there, I suppose. Maybe they didn't. Uh, Dean and Jumbo said, I like a bit of homebrew myself and we make blackcurrant wine vodka. Yeah. I used to like my home brew, but I think that maybe have been contributing to the gout. I'm going to pop this chat out and I can have it longer. Getting out of uh, getting a bit out of hand. I'll make it longer now, so. Uh, Bob Frog said Frosty Jacks bum life. Yeah, totally, mate. Bob said Frosty Jacks is hard to get into, but. Um, don't ask it, you fucked. Yeah, it's disgusting tasting. You open the bottle and it smells like farts. Um, tastes like crap. But yeah, it gets you pissed. But fucking hell, the hangovers from that are the worst I've ever had. 
probably the only thing that got me a hangover that bad was my homebrew. Number seven, Boo said, beer might make you put on weight, put weight on, but it's better for the liver and spirits and wines for sure. Norfolk said, proper piss heads drink. Yeah. A three quid as well. Three quid for um, three litres. Oh, yeah, Simon's just wrote underneath. Yeah, it used to be three litre bottle for three pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I think last time I bought some, it had gone up to something like four pounds fifty. But it was still cheaper than any other, because that's the equivalent of six, three liters is the equivalent of six cans. Most cans are a quid, so it costs you six quid to get six cans, the, the equivalent. So yeah, it was the cheapest uh, booze, cheapest most amount of booze you could get to um get drunk on. Reverend Self said, all this talk about alcohol is making me feel sick. <laughs> Let's change the subject. I don't mind. Got to remember, I've got a bit of an alcohol addiction, so. <laughs> I don't want me starting to think, oh, have I got some vodka downstairs? Nah, I wouldn't anyway. I ain't in the mood for that. Um, Garth, I said, dropped a bottle of Amiga. So that's another one. Yeah, Amiga sold it once, and it shot into the air like a rocket. Stuff's fucking nuclear. I can't remember the other one. There was another one I found. Um, but yeah, they're all the same kind of stuff. Yeah, Amiga's the same, isn't it? I only said, you don't drink then, Leon. I do enjoy a good bourbon. You might go for that. I must have said, animals eat grass, worms, and other animals. Just breeds where the only berries humans could eat without being poisoned. Oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. Garface said, Jack Daniels. I used to hate stuff like that, but I don't mind it now. Aliens can do, I don't mind. Um, Cow Mangles said, My friends have gotten drunk and made funny things. One of them put his shoes in the toilet and put a bicycle tire in the fridge. So, I almost about the frosty dap to make you sick. It's made from cooking apple peel. Yeah, I think the problem, the hangover I get from it is something horrible. Yeah. Bullfrog said, Why would you want to? Get into Frosty Jack's White Lightning. Like saying weed isn't strong enough, I'm going to use ketamine. It's for tramps and complete wasters. No, I think yeah, well, I was an alcoholic, so I wanted to get drunk as uh, cheaply and easily as possible. So that's why. That's why anyone does it. Uh, someone who's got no money or just wants to get pissed out of their face, you've got, you've got to get the cheapest, strongest booze you can get, haven't you? Which is what I did. Especially as I haven't worked for more than 10 years or signed on. So if I wanted to get drunk, I would have to get the cheapest, uh, strongest booze I could get. Number two, Boo said, I've heard Buckfast is a chosen drink for the Iceland shopper on a low income. Never had it myself. I'm more of a Lambrini man. Yeah, Lambrini I never liked. It was a bit too sweet. Buckfast, I think I may have had once. I think that's quite sweet if I remember. I don't know if I can, if I'm talking about the same thing though. But there was something else we tried, and it was very sweet. It may be Buckfast. Then it was easy, half a pint of cider mixed with half a pint of Guinness. Yeah, well, we, I tell you what we used to do. Half a pint of Strongbow Super mixed with half a pint of Tenant Super. You'd only need three of them to get drunk. Garface ain't no good, especially when I'm, when I'm hungover. How about aliens? Think I've seen a UFO earlier. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a UFO. I thought I did see one once, but then within five minutes I knew it wasn't. <laughs> special brew, yeah. Special. We used to drink them all. We would change from tent super, special brew, crest super. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. Since I've been like fourteen, when I was fourteen, fifteen, when I was drinking every day, I only ever drank. Strongest, cheapest booze you could get, which was stuff like Tenant Super, Crest Super, um, Strongbow Super, White Lightning, Frosty Jacks. When I said I do drink, as I said earlier, but not that frequently or heavily. Ethan Jump said, I'm sure I seen a UFO when I was 10, it was weird as fuck. A floating bright disc about three miles away in the horizon, moving left and right quickly. 
Oh, I'd like to see something like that. It must be fascinating. But I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> Special brew shit. Tell us about I don't get hangovers, but saying that I mix, my max limit is eight cans of 5%-ish over a few hour period, and I just get merry, but not wanking. I think even eight cans of five percent would get me, give me a hangover nowadays. Then it was your UFO in two thousand three, cigar shaped one, bloody big thing it was. No idea what it was. No, I suppose because when when I was thinking about because when you say um, UFOs, you automatically think aliens. But UFOs not technically aliens, is it? It's just an unidentified flying object. But I don't think I've seen anything that I couldn't tell what it was. Um. That was just for me. I was saying that too because I um when I, when we were saying UFOs, I automatically thought aliens. But I suppose UFO could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be um aliens, does it? I'm a Spartan. So that's true, Mike. I have drunk just about everything at one time, apart from mess spirits. Yeah, I've, I, that's one thing I wouldn't try. I did drink aftershave once, so but, um yeah, anything that make you go blind, I wouldn't risk that. I thought I saw a UFO once turned out to be a floating Chinese lantern piece. Yeah, they don't half look like um, UFOs, don't they? I reckon the government found some now. they got the space cadet crew and all that. Well, Trump's going to make his space cadets, isn't he? And he's going to be going up there fighting them. He's going to be developing laser guns, isn't he? And everything. Bullfrog said, Iceland, I worked there a long time ago. All the customers were single mums. Um, well, around four to... Six DKs. DK is my code word for dull kids. Uh, as in they were to generate child benefits for addict parents. Brian said, wonder if aliens like beer. Don't know. They seem to kind of a weed type to me. Actually, they probably would have surpassed all that. Wouldn't they? They probably had their own kind of drug, the perfect kind of drug, wouldn't they? You know, if you developed um, intergalactic space flight, you've probably developed some of the best drugs going as well. <laughs> I'm about to special beer is actually well made quality beer, just stronger. Yeah, I used to like that. I used to, I used to like, like, <clears throat> yeah, Tenant Super and and Special Brew. They're not too bad. They're just very strong. And Strongbow Super is quite nice, uh, but strong again. But yeah, um, White Lightning, Frosty Jacks, and that are fucking dirt. Starfire said, I like Star Wars with Trump at the moment. Beans and Jumps, a space cadet was what I called in the deep stoner days. <laughs> I also said, I once saw a plane fly over with Gordon Ramsay allegedly on it. Apparently, it was an unidentified frying object. <laughs> that was actually probably the perfect joke there because he's tied in both topics <laughs> that we've been talking about cooking and UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rita Smith, the Nazi developed flying saucers that were similar to the stereotypical alien UFOs. Yeah, I've seen documentaries about that. I did a little tester earlier. What's this? Oh, I can't read the comments at the minute. Let's see. Seen any of these? I hope this is working. <laughs> I won't leave this on for too long. Oh, that do. <laughs> All right, that should be back in a second. Object is a fantastically bad joke. It, it was very, it was very good, bad, wasn't it? I thought that. Well, folks, I missed my comment, Mike. What one? The Iceland one. I read that out.
Well, Fraud Woe, do you want to get into Frosty Jacks? Read that one. And then down to Bullfrog Iceland. I worked there a long time. Yeah, I've read that one. Unless there was another one further up. But, um... yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, like I said, the thing is, they're, they're able to get here. They would have to have had technology then they're pissed off we're fucked yeah you know I, I don't think we've ever been visited by aliens personally uh i don't know why they would come down and not have any communication and go i don't know though i don't really look into it so uh yeah that didn't even come up bullfrog uh, I asked, yeah it didn't even come up it must have gone straight there's phrases that go straight into spam. UFOs, many countries are up for disclosure throughout history. UFOs have been documented. I, Mass Martin, said Richard Smith, the Nazis invented most of the tech we take for granted. Uh, it was stolen from them after World War II. Yeah, surprising, actually, probably how much um, the world's been progressed in technology and medical stuff due to the Nazis doing experiments and that. I've said, search the Arvo car. Arvo went bankrupt, making a UFO for the US military. Right, hang on. Oh, yeah, I have seen that, yeah. Right, if you not wait just for a second, I can do a screen share again. Did that screen share work all right? Won't leave this on for too long because otherwise the uh I'll get way behind on the fucking uh comments and that. Right, said not to me, he said, I went to sleep once when I was in school. The teacher threw a book at me to wake me up, and that's how I came to be hit by a flying Chaucer. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> God. Well, that was a clever one, at least. And what's that, boo? Mike, you ever watch Food and Planet, mate? I don't think I've watched that properly for years and years and years. So, although I think I have seen it, I would say no, not as an adult. Crystal, you're right, mate. Said Mike, I subscribe to a few other vloggers. Do you subscribe to others? To ah, uh, I tell you who I subscribe to. Um, I think he's called Big Man Lee. Now, have you ever heard of K's Good Cooking? His case, I watch K's Good Cooking videos, and I watch K's Good Cooking's son, who is Lee. His video, his channel is called um, Lee is Cool, but he's changed it to Big Man Lee now. I watch his vlogs, and these are just pure vlogs. Every video is a vlog. They're quite interesting. He just comes from a council estate and um, walks his dog, and he's a bit, you know, he's a bit strange. But um, one of them, where you watch his mum's videos so much, you sort of feel like you know them a bit. Well, folks, it may be spam because I said illegal Eastern European drinkers could be, but yeah, it didn't even come up at all. Sometimes they come up with an option to show it. It didn't come up as that at all. But yeah, it must have gone straight in the spam bit. Actually, an Iron Man Spartan, no, not stolen. Only German armed forces surrendered during World War II. The Nazis never surrendered, just moved to America. Operating paperclip. I have to look that up. So if I said, do you like spam? Oh, I don't mind it. I'm not a massive um, fan of spam, but I, I don't dislike it. Spam fritters is nice, though. I don't like spam on its own, but spam fritters is quite nice. Jumble Sabu said the bullfrog, I don't know if it's nationwide, but most local Iceland attract people with serious body odor issues, but I can average job center plus. Uh, as you said, operation paperclip. I thought that's what you meant, but I still said operating paperclip. Tony, you right, mate? Yeah, hello, hello, mate. Just got in. I said, yeah, but it's fine. I'll face lots of UFOs. Um, one must be legit. Yeah, it could be. I would do more of that 
um, thingy share and screen share. But the problem is, while I'm doing that, I can't read the comments and they get out of hand then. I don't mind doing it occasionally, though. Uh, where am I? Richard Smith, the concept is if you spin something fast enough, it will repel the force of gravity. Someone did it with a weight on a drill to show the concept. Object history said related question was X Files popular over there? Yes, it was, mate. Yeah, in fact, it's back on now. They're showing the, the brand new series they was showing on Channel Five. So, yeah, it was in um back in when would it have been? Was it the late nineties, early two thousands when it was on? Yeah, it was big over here. Yeah, I, mean, I used to quite enjoy it when it was on originally as well. I don't know what channel it would have been on ITV or Channel Four back then. In the UK, before we had the free view and the satellite channels, we only used to have five channels <laughs> up until like the, the late eighties, mid nineties probably, four or five channels. I'm asked about it. Actually, Zulu um, neo Nazi jokes are neo Nazis a joke. The real Nazis would call them inbred thugs. Bullfrog said, "Yeah, Jumbo, that is a common occurrence, approximately." 2.3 times as many stinkers as Morrison's, according to scientific studies. You two been doing a poll, have you? I must back to the extra Zulu. The neo Nazis are a joke. The real Nazis is. I read that, yeah. I must back to I wrote my channel comment twice. I thought it went to spam. Yeah, and I've read it out twice. <laughs> Number Sabu said, Mike, I like two cubes of Oxo in a cup of hot water. Do you have that with some bread? Well, I used to do that, but that would be a gout thing now. Um, not so cubes, but uh, I used to like uh, what's the other one? Um, Bovril. But I never fancied putting bread in it. That to me would be horrible. I don't like dunking soggy bread. I don't like soggy bread, but um, I would definitely drink Oxo in a thing. Yeah, definitely. So if I said BRB, got to take the dog out, not try to spew on the way down the stairs, hang over day. One almost completed. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck, mate. Don't puke on the dog. And if you do puke, don't let the dog eat it. <laughs> and not he says, spam, 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 wonderful spam, glorious spam. <laughs> I'm asked what did I spam and eggs today? True story. I had pasta for my dinner today. I've had a load of weird stuff today. I had, pa I had a chicken and mushroom pasta thing, but I added into it onions and sticky bacon. Thomas said, Simon said, reminds me of Monty Python, spam, spam, spam. Yeah, it did me. I was reading it. So I thought it's a classic. Can't beat Monty Python. Yeah, I love Monty Python. When I was younger, I never used to really like it that much. But um, when I got into my sort of late teens, early 20s, we used to watch it when we were drunk, possibly stoned, and I loved it, fell in love with it then, the films especially. Well, Frog said, do you miss the prison meals back in the days as a con? I'll tell you what, the food I had was lovely. It was always good. It was always nice. Um, yeah, it was good quality food, I tell you, back in them days, 2000s. <laughs> good food. Uh, because I used to, my job was to go around emptying the bins. We used to get to go into the kitchen and empty the bins. Because in that prison, it weren't served by um, prisoners. The food was cooked and served by actual um, cooks. Uh but yeah, as long as you was polite and nice to them, they was always give you decent food. And when you got to go around and empty their bins, they'd slip you a bottle of um bottle of drink and something. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Want like what Tommy Robinson had to add, the poor bastard. But then the prisons weren't like that in them days either. Extra Zulu said, I'm Man Spartan, the true Nazi party circa nineteen forties all moved to America. JFK, JFK's dad, he was on it. American backed all parties, don't be fooled. We never won the war, only the fight. I did not know that. That's my review, said I am back. Extra seeds of prison food worth getting nicked for. Yeah, it's not as bad as uh, police station food, which is, I don't know if it's microwave stuff or what, but that's terrible stuff. And the worst mistake you can ever make, if they ever say to you, do you want a drink? If you say yes and they give you tea or coffee, do not fucking touch that tea for at least 10 minutes. And I've done it at least three times where I was hungover and I was, oh, I can't wait for a bit of um, 
a drink and you drink it and you scold your fucking mouth <laughs> don't eat an apple he said i bet you was a trustee no mate definitely not want that no no i always thought that was a bit of an odd um i wouldn't want to have ever been that but i'm a polite person i wouldn't be rude i've never been rude to people you know even if i was uh doing something bad to them they wouldn't be rude to you <laughs> But no, I remember when you first go in there, you have to go and talk to one of the trustees, and it was bizarre. I always thought you know, that's a bit because it. I, I don't think they are, but it it almost makes you appear like you're sort of working for the screws, sort of thing. Can they be trusted? Um, you know, trustee is becoming one of them instead of one of you, almost. Fine line between one of you and one of them, and they're a bit of both. So you sort of like. Mm, Plus, I want in there long enough to become a trustee anyway. <laughs> yeah, the food. See, it was a completely different era, though. Um, there wasn't all of the stuff you hear about in prisons now, the drugs and the religious problems and stuff like that. Um, none of that really existed then. Um, yeah, and in that one I was in, it, it, it was the food was even um, served to you by actual proper cooks, not prisoners. So, <laughs> Tony laughed at how you was really. <laughs> uh, Bullfrog said the poo and pubes in his food too, so he had to eat canned tuna. Exactly what happens to people? Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? got this in the post today i don't know marcus was uh marcus seemed a bit interested in it so i got that bag today and then i found out i didn't ask for the fucking um tomahawk after all so i ain't getting a tomahawk but if liam if you're on you might recognize this except mine ain't branded i can have a look see who's in this i'm a participant don't know. He's not in it at the moment. He says there's only four people. Um, game as in like pheasants and that. Um, I don't mind it, but that's one of the things you can't eat with gout, so I don't eat it so much now. But I do like rabbit. I've, I've eaten rabbit, pheasants, squirrels. And I do like it. It's nice meat. I'm asked about, did I have the personality a bit like Chopper Reed? I'll talk to anyone, please, screws, and do not care what people think. Uh, if they want a straightener, come on. <laughs> being polite is a good trait. But it is. It is. Nothing, nothing wrong with being polite to people. You know, I don't mean, <laughs> you know, there's anything, um, oh, I don't know, soft about it, is there? Bullfrog says that. Hobbit's backpack. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, but I, I probably am a hobbit, so. <laughs> now I just wanted a little bag. I ain't carrying big bags that got nothing in it. I was about the wall up there. Oh, it's actually Julie. Yeah, we were talking about the bag, weren't we? Jeans and Jumper, your question didn't come up, mate. It must have had something in it that went straight to the... um spam thing that didn't ever come up on there there's certain phrases and things that get st put straight into spam so yeah maybe maybe the spam filter thought it was i did i did put some of these words in myself though to make sure we didn't get too bogged down with that kind of stuff but um if it don't come up i wouldn't worry about it uh oh okay i got this as well where am i um actually said that bag might they're good i use one for my shelter kit yeah it looks good quite like the look of it so far yeah i just i thought it's better because i ain't, you carry great big bags with a little thing in the bottom of it it's po it's pointless isn't it uh tony said meant to say game yeah yeah i do like um 
I do like that kind of stuff, but one of the things you've got to avoid if you're susceptible to gout is gaming me. Yeah, I do like um, pheasant and all that stuff. Pheasant, rabbit, squirrel. I've had a squirrel heart before. Um, yeah, bold squirrel heart. Very chewy, as you can imagine. Gas mask reviewer said, how much did that cost? You know what? I'm not sure, but it wouldn't have been a lot if it was a gear vest. Let me have a quick look. In fact, if I do the screen share, I can show you. Single shoulder, a blank cross door, tactical chest wrap, ginger brown. Weird things they put on it. Door. £14, 2p. Get it through my links. <laughs> right back. I am as part of being polite part of the warrior code. Uh sing shot warrior, you're right, mate. Rod, you're right. He said, all right, mate, just landed. Do you collect other stuff? Ah. Uh, um, DVDs, darts, I suppose I'd collect dart stuff because um, I play dart. My other hobbies would be um, films and darts. Well, I ain't got none of my darts in here at the minute. Brian said, have you ever fancied magnet fishing? Looks fun, might find some much. Well, I sort of have. Uh, I've never been, but I could go with someone anytime because someone who... Uh, one of my family members goes, so I could ask them to go with them if I wanted. I just never have. Uh, but I'll have to look into that, I'll film it, can I? Um, yeah, I'll put that on the sort of to do. I don't know when, it might not be for a year, for all I know. But if, yeah, I do know someone who does actually go um, magnet fishing. They've never got anything good yet, though, I don't think, or not, they told me. Actually, you said politeness often misunderstood as some kind of weakness. Yeah, I was always taught my kids uh, just because we can doesn't mean we should. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a good way to live, isn't it? Too many people are, you know. I've been in shops before, and where I've been polite to the person behind the thing, they've actually been surprised and actually said, "Oh my God, you've actually made my day because you've actually said please and thank you." Because I have to deal with all these rude people all day. Um, you know, that's not the example you've given, though. But, um, yeah, it's it's an easy, it's not even difficult to do, is it? That's the thing. So easy to be polite to someone. Dean Dumps are very interesting. I'll try to rephrase. Do you support, like, Don Robinson? I, I do know, but used to believe the shit papers send him. I'll re, um, research it. I don't really, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know a lot about him. But uh, from what I do... He seems all right to me, and he's got a hell of a lot of fucking bollocks and must be very strong-minded, because I couldn't live the way he does with the things he has to put up with. I would end up going, like, totally fucking mental, and I'd probably end up being in prison for the rest of my life. Yeah. But um, a lot of the stuff about him I don't really know, because I've never really looked into it. But, yeah, I like him, really. Yeah, I, can't. Um, I wouldn't ever believe anything the papers say about anyone... They're not easy. So I used to carry a backpack. How much ago, mad now? But I don't bother anymore. I never have enough stuff to carry around to make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's what made me get this little bag because I got one of my big bags out and I put all the stuff in it, and it was about that much in the bottom. I thought, uh, there's no point in having a bag. A great big rucksack. It was not even a big one, but there was just a little bit in the bottom. I thought I'd be better off a little bag. Oh, man, Spartan said. Um, Brian V, yeah, guy found a Mac 10. Bullfrog said that's not spam. No, but I just, I don't want to get into, um, if you're on about jeans and jumpers comment not coming through, I've said in the things I don't want to start having a, a constant stream going on about Muslims or um, Brexit or fucking shit like that. It bores me to fucking death. So I've blocked certain things to stop certain discussions starting in the first place. 
it just bores me to death, and I've got and I've got no opinion on it, so I can't really talk about it. Uh, Gas my fear. Thanks for that. Might pick one up. Ginger jumps her favourite darts. Um, oh, let me see if I have got them up here. I don't think I have, but these was one of the most recent ones I had. I got them from uh, my dartboard just there. Got these from Red Dragon Darts, but they was too short. I like really long darts about 23 grams so i got some of these little brass um extenders and weights i can't remember what these was called i put them up there i'm probably sitting on myself uh, objects history said got a run bud meeting the owner of an antique store that wants to buy a copy of the book i'm glad i caught this rare for me to rare for me with the time distance now uh, thanks for joining in i appreciate it it's good it's been good seeing you on so yeah, I hope that goes well. See you later. All right, I'll go back up now. Um, I must Martin said, if I was to send you a product to keep or review, we'd have to speak through email. Mate. Yeah, message me, mate. Um, yeah, email would be best. Simon said, magnet fishing is fun. Find a load of pliers and shit from fishermen. I, I bet you would find that kind of stuff. Liam, did you see this? I don't know if she was on. That's one of the knives I got. Robin's off said, yeah, retail is how being forced to be polite to people being rude to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I notice a lot of, um, a lot of people who work in shops and that get accused of being uh, sometimes racist. Um and generally, not just racist, but being aggressive to people or or weird. And it's purely, what people don't realise is, the person they was just talking to might have just been extremely rude to them, and it's upset them. And then when you talk to the next person, you may still be upset, and then you come across as not liking someone for no reason. Uh, you know, that's not always the case, but yeah, I do. I try and think of other. You know, when someone's being a bit funny to you. Like a shopkeeper sometimes i think well maybe they've been maybe they've just had to speak to a complete twat so i'll still be polite to them uh you know where am i they're not say i don't play darts anymore found it too arrowing <laughs> in short words manner manners make of the man tony said i'm eating pheasant tonight one i shot last december lovely nice to shoot and excellent to eat must admit, squirrel is another favourite of mine. Prefer it to rabbit. Yeah, squirrel is nice, isn't it? I like my stuff straight away. Though. I don't like hanging it for ages. I prefer it fresh straight away. Almost how Boo said, "Being ginger." Where's it gone? In the description. That means it. Being ginger in the description. It's a fucking gone. That means it will melt on a sunny day, and will annoy the tits off you. Big time. Richard Smith, I think it's funny when someone acts like they can they can fight and then throw their weight about um, when they're the definition of useless. Tony said, light travel is always the best way, mate. Object history, I read that one. Gene Jumper, nice. I have some red dragon darts, my second favourite, similar shape, different grip, but snake bite. Yeah, oh yeah, I know them ones. Yeah, I'll tell you what I like. I like long, thin darts. With a medium grip. I had I bought some of them javelins and they were grip five and they were so grippy that they would almost stick to my finger on the front. Rums I said, knife looks nice, reminds me of the Prometheus one. I, yeah, I think it is. I think it's a copy of that or or just the same knife without the Prometheus bit on it. Our face, we'll have to get yourself one of them authentic dart shooters, jungle tribe star. Rollfrog said gingers could burn up in seconds in this weather. Next, as you said, the Richard Smith, the quiet man, often not engaging or indeed showing uh, your capability or capability is best. Um, the physical violence is very much a gamble, no half measure. Wolfhawk said, I have to deal with cunts on a daily basis when it's a screw fish job. Um, some things. I don't know what I was saying. Motherfucker Coke into. I don't know. 
Well, all folks, uh, uh, Jumbo Sabu said the ball for a guy. Nothing against gingers, but it's a worry that somebody can be that pal. <laughs> They'll be dead. Well, I told you about the bloke I saw at the bloody um, car boot sale who was the most pale ginger bloke you'd ever seen. But he all he also looked like he had a white film on him. Well, he did. He had a white film of um, sunscreen on him. So he looked even whiter. He almost looked albino-ish. I'm a Spartan said, racism, racism is not real. It's just people being tribal and liking their own. Nothing wrong with that. Um, Starfire said, watch the tempers on the gingers. Uh, it was for nationalism, not racism. Look out, doors. You're right, Luke. Yeah, I'm not actually having a discussion about racism. I was just saying people get accused of it because they've acted strange in a shop. Shopkeeper has acted not in a good mood someone and you know but let's not get on to that that's another thing i don't really want to get into yeah, you know, I can. uh what was i see it looks basically identical i think it just didn't got the name on it this is the other knife liner lock got those um it's got a flipper and it's got those uh what do you call it the um ball bearing washers so it absolutely flicks out without any effort well folks do you remember what i told you about the meathead he was taken down not far from iceland the bigger they are the harder they fall can't remember about that bullfrog um not sure first crap in here aren't they Oh, folks, here, Jumbo and I have had many troubling experiences with them in the past. I said, have you ever tried the new VR tech? No, but I would. I'd love to do all that, but um, too expensive for me. If I had the money, I'd have all the latest technology. I love all. I love all technology. I might as well say, better to run from a fight. If you're not willing to go all out. I must have said, Scarface ain't nothing wrong with having ginger pubes, man. Tony said, what's your honest opinion on Mira knives? I don't know if I've ever had a... Oh, Mora knives, yeah. Oh, I quite like them. They're good for what they are. Um, you know, which are cheap um, bushcrafting type knives. I think they're really good for what they are, yeah. Virtually instructable. Good quality for what they are. Yeah, I like them. Like I said, my brother's ginger. Right temper. Remember when he was younger, chasing me around the house with a kitchen knife. I had to hold the door closed while I was just stabbing the door, the matter. <laughs> like so. When I said, it looks like the tangram I bought from you. Yeah, it does, don't it? It's very similar. The whole overall look of it looks like a tangram to me. And it even opens like a tangram. It's absolutely lovely. I don't, know, I don't know if I can demonstrate how little you have to do, but barely anything because of those ball bearing washers. Oh, it's a nice knife, nice flip knife. That, yeah, do like these old flippers, especially these ones with the fucking ball bearing washers. Oh, that one, bullfrog. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do remember now. Yeah, Darfly uh, read that. Tony said, meant to say more on knives, but my specs are now. No one's part of, yes, illegal to say ginger in Scotland and Ireland. Bullfrog said he was demanding to fight at least six security. One guard does this slow punch and take his wrist, bringing him down. The big guy, but he was slow. He wanted the police for a domestic. No, I want to buy the police for a domestic. Um, Jingle jumps in either more HD. Use around the farm. Very good piece of kit. Won't cry when I eventually lose it. As it usually happens. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, they're great for what they are. <clears throat> they're cheap, but really good quality. Yeah, and if you did lose it, you don't care. Richard Smith, I heard people say that they do boxing, but their stands are terrible. Um, can't keep their feet under their shoulders, winding up their punches, not breathing correctly. Double Sabu said, Scarface, I have two ginger sisters, mate. I'm in the middle and very dark brown. I most certainly does the bullet there. Scarface said, I was counting my blessings. <laughs>
Oh, like something one of my brothers would have done. He was a bit like that. One of them, he would flip and then go mental, chase you around with something. Or well, not me, anyway. But, you know, be chasing someone around with a fucking cricket bat or something or a fucking metal pole. Dean Jumper, I found adrenaline of a real fight throws technique out the window from my experience. Thing is, people know a lot of stuff about fighting nowadays. In the old days, people didn't really know. You know, you get people who go out for a Saturday night who train in the week to um, <laughs> get out of a fight. Not like that in the old days. People go out to the gym and training all week. We never do anything with it apart from, you know. Logan said, now then, pal, how are you tonight? I'm all right. I'm all right. These conversations keep turning into weird things, though. I'm as part of Jumbo Sabu. You might have ginger kids, though. But I don't really like talking about the. I, I don't mind talking about the fighting kind of thing, but the thing is, I don't like to say anything in case I incriminate myself about something. So I don't like to join in with the conversation for it in case I say something that could potentially get me arrested. I accidentally tell you something that I've done once. Logan said, I shot a squirrel today and my dog got cooked meat. I got 9.5 steals and they're great. Yeah, I do like a bit of squirrel. Very nice. Where am I? Seems like would you buy a fan bot, bro? <laughs> uh, what, because I love all the technology? Yeah, probably. <laughs> they look like the ones from uh, sci-fi films that you can't tell. No, I don't know. Um, I'd rather just have a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> Logan said, one of my cousin's mates got arrested for battering some guy in a pub. <laughs> I'm a Bush I'm a Spartan. I've got six kids that I've told the CSA about, anyways, and none are ginger. Bush grabbing out said, How's the right shield coming? Uh, that might be delayed by at least a couple of months, I reckon. I've still got to get the stuff. I was going to take my bloody um, window out of my uh, greenhouse but to do it, but I don't think I will. <laughs> but yeah, somewhere, sometime down the line, I'll get a sheet of that stuff with the Patreon money. Rogan said, why are we speaking about fighting? Did you brace someone? No, no. No, I don't know. It just came up <clears throat> randomly. I don't know why. I can't remember now. The 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 conversation sort of evolves as you're um going along. It no, it's all right, Rich. I don't, I don't think you um started in the first place, did you? But um and it doesn't matter who started it, it's just it's funny how the conversations change and evolve as you're going along. But it's just no, sometimes I I have to keep censoring myself and stopping myself saying things. <laughs> so I struggle to, you know, I don't want to accidentally say something. Where am I? Long Frog said, what about the planned heist? <laughs> Number Sabu said, I'm a Spartan. You never know when you might need a spare kidney, mate. Oh, the kids, yeah. Richard Smith, okay, sorry, Mike. I'll back off back fighting. Up. No, it's all right, it's all right. Um, I was just saying, because I can't, I try not to join in too much in case I say something. Don't tell I tried the squirrel. It's nice, but if you shoot a bigger one next time, I'll be eating that one. I like a bit of squirrel. Things that won't have ha ha. Brian, grilled chips. Logan said, never eaten pigeon. No, that's another one I've had. Yeah, wood pigeon. That's nice. I've had pigeon so fresh that it was still warm when I put it in the oven. They're lovely. Mike Johnson said, guns are about to become illegal. They'll be all right there. Dean said, I've got some training, but I've spent most of my time splitting fights up, not fighting. Got chipped elbow bone from the worst. Um, he said, it was me. I was in drink, I done it. <laughs> they can't hang me if he doesn't die, can they? <laughs> That's the sort of thing you mean. <laughs> Sake. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. 
they're gonna hang me if he doesn't die again. <laughs> That's right. Plus that from anyway, is that from something? You're making me think of um let him out uh is it let him have it? Derek Bentley. Bullfrog said Mike's girlfriend is just called Piper and they have a threesome with a corpse. <laughs> You're just jealous, mate. Extra Zoo said on just on kids, best thing my wife came out of when they asked how many kids because of Flash. Two that I know of. I won't be saying that, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> For sake. I love it when women come out of weird things like that. Logan said, I know a bit about fighting. I used to get where am I with my cousin. Even though he was in adult class, I was allowed to join him. And I learned a lot from it. You ever had frog? No, I never had frog. He had a few huge ones in the pond and I wanted to cook the legs, but I was unsure how to cook them. Yeah, that's what would stop me doing it. But um, I'll definitely go to a restaurant. Um, I'll definitely go to a restaurant and have frog's legs, yeah. Uh what's that boost said to I know Spartan if you have a jeans kid there's what was eBay mate? Then not Z said I used to be into sadism, necrophilia and bestiality. I gave it up because I decided I was just flogging your dead horse with it. <laughs> Logan said jealousy over threesome. Well, he was implying that uh my girlfriend is something from a computer game and we had sex with a corpse. I think he was just jealous and he wanted to join in. Things that Warren said, uh, what would be your ultimate VR fantasy? Yes, the tech existed to leave it out. I don't know. Oh, there's loads of good things you could do, aren't there? No end of things. Maybe a virtual reality uh, massacre. <laughs> Shooting those people. Who knows? Logan said PAV sex. Dean Jumper, I ate pure red frog once. Wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, that don't sound very nice. Brian said roasted rabbit is nice. Yeah, I've had roasted rabbit, roasted pigeon, roasted squirrel, um, rabbit soup or stew. That's nice. Oh, I didn't show you the last thing, did I, Amazon? And I also got these, which I've already been in the garden testing out. You may have once seen them on um, Nice Monkey's channel. These are uh, throwing knives. They're not bad. Them to have probably some sort of VR space. Yeah, that would be good. S VR space thing or some kind of VR horror thing. Extremely, extremely scary VR horror thing would be good. I'd like any of that kind of stuff. Or underwater. Number Sour Boo says, I don't need that's a good one, mate. I'm going to have to nick that one. Bullfrog said, I don't like necrophilia, Mike. I'm not sure if it's legal status, though. If it's legal like bestiality or it's legal like some of those German scat parties. <laughs> so. I don't know who's a threesomes. I said to the wife, fancy a bit of fancy, fancy role play in the bedroom. I'll be four. <laughs> be your sister. <laughs> so. uh, gas mask reviewer, military training VR. Yeah. Logan said there was lots of VR games. Um, we used one at Christmas. It was a roller coaster. And there was dinosaur one as well. Yeah, well, a lot of the games now, I think you can do VR. Um, Resident Evil 7, can't you? And I've heard people playing that bloody screaming when they played it. <laughs> Men as well. said, "I think you'd want to be in a Tolkien type fantasy as a as a um the dwarf. Is it the dwarfs? Not the hobbits. Hobbits aren't really fighting breed, are they? Yeah, got that as well. Yeah, they do look like that, don't they, Jumbo Sabu? Not bad little things. They look like they've been stamped out of the metal, but they're good enough for throwing knives. You know, what do you need for a throwing knife? Something that don't bend. <laughs> that's it. Logan said, "What made you start YouTube?" Um, well, originally I made an account just because uh, there was videos on YouTube that you can't watch unless you've got an account. So that's actually what really started me doing it. That's what made me make an account. And then, for some reason, I just I put a couple of Tim and Eric scenes on there because I liked them. And I noticed there weren't any on there. 
And then I started putting trailers of Stephen King films on there. This was before you used to get a lot of the copyright stuff. Um, the copyright stuff was there, but you never used to get caught for it. Um, until I did and then got that channel shut down. Uh, and then I started putting a couple of videos on... Um, call it... Um, picture videos. It's not what it's called. Oh, I can't remember what it's now. But picture videos of... Um, my weapons and someone said why don't you do a video where you talk but don't show your face and then i started doing two channels my old one and then the weapon vector one and then uh the old one got shut down because there was some um copyrighted stuff on there and i didn't i hadn't been on the the channel for about three weeks and when i went on there there'd been about seven videos copyrighted and they shut the channel down Things that I said you'd be a dwarf wielding a battle axe, definitely, mate. Only said I've eaten rat off, mate. Tastes lovely. Also eating sparrow, not in this country. I'd eat both of them if uh, if you can. I'd eat anything that you can eat and that people eat. We just missed a van pelt type VR where you're a dangerous game hunter in the 1900s. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, Logan said, my dad's diving knife saved his life diving in a wreck and he got caught on a huge rope. Thank God he had his knife. Yeah. Yeah, thank God, isn't it? Comes our boo said, there are vids you couldn't watch unless you had an account. Never knew that much. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they was like age-restricted ones or something, but yeah, there were certain videos you couldn't watch unless you had an account. So I made an account purely to watch these videos. Um, Yeah. And then that's how I got started on YouTube. Because if I hadn't ever made an account, I probably wouldn't have been here. Dean Dumb said you could choose from being able to kick like a horse or swim like a fish, which would be kick like a horse. But I'd have to have an operation on my ear before I could swim like a fish. <laughs> Bullfrog said Samwise Gandhi is a fighting hobbit. He defeated Gollum, then Frodo struggled with him. And the fiend fell into the lava. I don't like Gollum. I saw him sitting on steps outside the job tank the other day. Gollum's all right there. <laughs> Tony Nappas said, when I was in Belly's, we could eat cats. Yes, cats, must admit. I couldn't tell the difference between the rabbit. I would eat anything if that's what the people eat there. You know, you wouldn't eat cats and dogs over here, frowned upon. Um, might even be a crime for all I know. But if he was in a country where where it was done, I'd do it. Only if it's socially acceptable there, though. Logan said, I used to play Far Cry 4 just to sit on the hills all day waiting for deers and hogs to shoot them, a.k.a. role-play hunting. Yeah, they used to do a sign-in to verify your age thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what made me make an account in the first place. And then once I had that account, I started whacking a couple of videos on just because I liked the videos. I thought other people might like them. But there was all copyrighted stuff. It was back in the day when it didn't really matter, though, or you didn't care, or if your channel got shut down, you didn't care, because it was just clips of fucking Tim and Eric or fucking stinking trailers. At one point, I had and they were quite good views as well. All of um, all of uh, Stephen King's cameos on there. Things that worry my fancy would be big game hunting on an alien planet. Yeah, that'd be good. I remember back in the day joining eBay and not many people used it. Better time, mate. Yeah, a lot of the how things used to be was a lot better, weren't they? I think it was really my fancy wife breathes in, but never out again. <laughs> oh, God. I could just imagine your wife seeing that. Quite the sake. Bullfrog said, Gollum is not far from that corpse. No wonder you think he's all right, Mike. I hate corpses. What's your, what's your bloody problem with corpses, mate? Bullfrog says, I still want to know where on the map you buried that Irish bin. <laughs> I'll show you how late this. She's still alive and well. Actually, <laughs> Julie, your bloody joke cracked me up. That was a good one, that one. I could just picture in my head your wife seeing that though and going mental. <laughs> mm. 
I have a quick tidy up so I ain't got a fucking million things to put away later. Yeah, that's not a bad little set. I had a throw with them. Uh, once I've got the right distance, I can actually get all of them in in one go. I'm just getting the same technique. It needs to help when you've got more uh, knives. You can, you can throw them quickly one after another. Keep the technique going. Double Sour Boo said, to be honest, eBay wasn't all that great when it first came out. Not as many people used it, but the country was a whole was a whole better place to be. Yeah, exactly. I'll be honest with you, I never really used um, eBay back in the day. Um, I've probably only had an eBay account for like in two years, if that. Uh, yeah. But I did know about it. I had got stuff off there, other people buying it for me. Logan said, you have a YouTube family. Yeah, you, JJ, as well, all Luke Outdoors. Yeah. There's probably some more as well, but not many that do regular videos. Yeah, as we have, haven't we? Richard Smith said, in Fable 2, you had to get three parts of the corpse to bring back to life for some creep to marry it. Well, I think there was stuff like that in um, Red Dead Redemption, wasn't there? Wasn't there some bloke in that who was um, doing that kind of thing? That'd be coming out soon, wouldn't it? Fall, isn't it? Looking forward to that. May have to save up for that one to get that when it comes out. And I can play it like people doing spoilers. <laughs> Not that anyone's giving me any spoilers, but I'm always um, wary that someone is. Which one's that, Liam? Is that Fable 2 or um, or Red Dead Redemption? Oh, it's the Red Dead Redemption one. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't remember what the actual thing was called. That's my three. Are you going to get Fallout 76? Yeah, I think so. When's that out? That's got to be coming out very soon, isn't it? Well, I said living in an underground world would be a great fantasy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Logan said Red Redemption uh, was sick. Can't wait to get Red Dead 2. Yeah, I can't. They're brilliant games. As good as the Grand Theft Autos. Jack Strike, are you right, Jack? He said, just call it and say hello. Not been on for a while. Hey, good to see you on, mate. Bit of a random uh, conversation that you joined into. It's just suddenly gone on a computer game suddenly. But, um... Yeah, you know what it's like. No end of um, different <laughs> conversations going on. Probably be only on till 10.30 today. Uh... I want to have some stuff to do. It's a bit too hot. Without well, my headache's gone, at least. You're not Z said, um, funny to think that not long ago, if someone mentioned Fallout, you thought of either nuclear war or drowsy zip malfunction. <laughs> so. I will say, Boo said, Jack, so I can be loving your vids, mate. I think you're worried, said, hi, Jack. That's like the last computer game I played was Ghostbusters in 1985. Well, the funny thing is, we were discussing that. We were discussing that um, we uh, doubted very highly that you was into computer games. And uh, you've just proved us right. When I was playing my computer game last night, I think it was, or the other night, your name got brought up, and we were saying I doubt um, Jack would play computer games. Or a VR gear is cheap these days. Eh, sort of. It's still quite dear, though, isn't it? Um, yeah, Amazon Rift often sells for free to 350 quid. That's a lot of money to me. <laughs> That's why it was on the Commodore 64. Yeah. That's one of the ones I never had. I never had any of the sort of computer um, ones in the, back in the early 80s. The, the, the only ones we ever had was the consoles. So I had the old Ataris. 
never had any of the spectrums and the commodores and that kind of stuff all of them they had computer games in 1985 yeah you should see them little square blocks moving around <laughs> Um, double side boost for PS1 and Resident Evil 2 games. Yeah, remake of Resident Evil 2. Uh, weapons up, yeah, but the point was it was a thousand pound at some point. Then, you know, yeah, yeah, so I didn't think I didn't know you meant that. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, it's just it's that's still a lot of money to me. Uh, but yeah, that is, yeah, you know, what's that third of what it was, isn't it? So, double side boost Atari Pong, yeah, we had that. In the jumps, the last game I played was Duke Nukem, I think. Had the Atari as a kid. How to zoom to Jack Stiker Commander 64. Line of Richard Best album, isn't it? <laughs> Richard Smith said, um, Jack, did you learn to play the organ from a teacher or learn yourself? Weapons, I said, yeah, in a few years it will cost a lot cheaper. Yeah, it'll be a lot cheaper. Yeah, see, 300, 300 that's, that is a, that's a good price, really. But yeah, I just meant it's way out of my price. It took me about a fucking year to get the 240 quid for the same PlayStation 4. But if I was working, I could get that in, you know, that kind of money. You get that in two weeks. With your still spend, you know, still spending money on your expenses. You get three fifty in a week working, couldn't you? If you add, if you could use, you know. Um, where am I? I think of what I said, I'm thinking of buying VR gear. Yeah, get it, mate. Well, Fox said I wasn't alive in 1985, but I assume it was marbles and jumping jacks back then. Yeah, no, we did have a bit of technology back then. 1985, I was five. said, last computer game I played was Space Invaders, Woolworths, Percy Street, sometime in the 80s. That stroke said I used to be in a band for a long time, so I just know how to put songs together. And so I said, I have a rift, but rarely use it, to be honest. I like it, but most games are not. We are compatible. I'm so looking forward to the simp stuff, Jack. Yeah, you doing the second channel, Jack, or not? I know I said don't bother, but when you replied to me, I thought, no, you're probably right. Probably would be better off doing two. It's just I. the only reason I mentioned it, I know from experience, trying to run two channels can be a pain in the ass, because you tend to leave one. But as you only upload once or twice a week anyway um it probably wouldn't be much of a bother when you up when i could i upload every day virtually it, it was doing two channels was too much you'd, you'd end up ignoring one of them number seven boot 1985 i was 12. it was a bullfrog you didn't miss much in 1985 it was just as shit as 86 87 88, 89. yeah why do you think i turned to drink as a child <laughs> I think all the kids around my area have been fucking alkies at one point. It was so boring. I read that one. Z.Z. PS4 has that stupid advert for the payers. But it wouldn't be much use for people who don't play console games, would it? Yeah, for the players, yeah. <laughs> so for the payers. <laughs> that sounds like something they'd come out with, though. But no, yeah, it wouldn't be no use to someone who didn't play games, would it? It wouldn't be any use. One of those massive cell phones from maybe... That time, back when you could probably beat someone to death with it. Can't can't do that with an iPhone, it'd break. Yeah. RDP, you all right, mate? Good to see you on. You joining in the shooting competition this year? I saw you liked um, Electro's Cannon. It was good, wasn't it? Um, Richard Smith, I learned the organ myself. I could never afford lessons or find a teacher who teaches organs. Now, um, when it comes to doing music, I'm terrible at it. I can't. I think I'm tone deaf and I can't um I can't distinguish between sounds sometimes even maybe my bad ears though. Um like the tones and stuff is that's impossible for me. Maybe if someone taught me though I might. That's my real weapon and stuff I made tea pop there and it wasn't disappointed. I'll tell you what, I'll go on to eleven as we've had a couple of other people join who haven't been on for ages. Uh, just going to change the settings to this. I'll, I'll put that saying 11. Yeah, we're down to 11. And then I may go later if I feel like it. Let 
let you know when I'm back. Um, Tom Sabu said 85 was a great year. Rambo First Blood Part 2 came out. It was only 90 quid to buy the film on VHS at the time. You know, old money. Or well, well worth bought it out. Nine ninety nine. Fucking hell, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Right, where am I? Said, I'm not musical myself, but I do enjoy the occasion to fiddle with my locker. Hardy <laughs> P. Project said, I'd like to. Oh, no, I remember you saying, well, you couldn't now. Yeah. I think you said before about why well, you couldn't, didn't you? Um, Hardy said, I'd like to, but I don't really have anywhere that covers 50 meter distance other than the garden. And I can't really do that due to nosy neighbors and my guns on that. I'll tell you what, Hardy P., I didn't think much of your neighbors in that video playing that fucking music um that was your neighbors wasn't it because um yeah <laughs> that drove me out the wall things what war said in the future there will be vr addiction i think there probably is now they're probably getting that now you could definitely get addicted to that kind of stuff because it's the escapism of it isn't it um yeah i, I could see i could see that happening to me yeah, I thought about it. I was, when I watched your video, RDP, and they were making that racket, I thought, you know, what a bunch of bastards. I'd, I'd, people who do that, I think it's fucking disgraceful. Peter Smith said, I'm not that good at playing the organ, to be honest, need more practice. Um, Dean Hingham said, I've avoided it for the reason Sing Shot Warrior. I think I'd spend too much time on it. Oh, the VR, yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, I could see that happening to me. Thankfully, Zulu, uh, VHS, yeah, never catch on, yeah, beat him, Max, the way forward. That was slightly before my time, but I do know about all that. IDP said, I fucking hate them. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you, mate. Bullfrog said, the first Rambo was a favourite of Hunger for Shooter Michael Ryan. And Sabu said, said not Zina, that's got to be a twanger. Small mouthful. Punk <laughs> said, evening, mate. You're right, mate. I, think it was. I said, yeah. You have a point, jeans, when you could, yeah, when you could live out your fantasies. Yeah, exactly. Live in that, and then you've got to face the real world. Um, I could definitely see people wanting to live in that world rather than the real world if they've got a terrible, terrible life or, you know, or just a mundane life. You know, that's why people play computer games in the first place. Not just that, you know, but um, some of it can be that like, escapism, isn't it? They're not easy. That, uh, also, but actually, all the girlies tell me it's a large mouth organ. <laughs> Things that worse if who wants to live in reality? That one. RDP said, Romanian at the end of the garden, Polish next door, Latvia next to them. It's like East European, Eastern Europe, Europe there. Fuck's sake. As you said, the Richard Smith, I practice playing my organ all the time. RDP said, don't have an issue with the country, it's just my neighbours are wankers. Yeah. yeah, what RDP and me was on about was he did a video recently of an unboxing from a, a lovely gift he got from Wessex Blades, Scott from Wessex Blades. But he mentioned at the beginning of this, there's just pounding music going on in the background from his neighbours. Bonk was the first blood I've been there place called um, Hope in British Columbia. He even stood on the bridge where Rambo was arrested by the sheriff. It's bloody awesome. You better talk to um, Jumble Sabu then, pocket full. Bullfrog said, I can see the horizon red butt. The instant Jumble said, yeah, you could tune a perfect world. You could fit yourself into adapting to the world to do it better in real life. Uh, Jumble Sabu said, said, yeah, that's got this summertime thing when things are warmer, and that's my excuse anyway. The Indian said, Yeah, oh, I read that one, yeah. Um, I think, honestly, yeah, never forget VR sex, law. Jack Strokes would be able to stab him this afternoon, had an air ambulance on the local football field to pick up the victim. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we're into our nearest county neighbours, are the French. <laughs> 
Now say what you like about the French. They don't need a jumper suit, boo, and uh, RDP, but by the way, that break bar pistol in the last video is really nice. No James Bond. Which one, um, RDP? What, uh, my videos or? I think what? Yes, it's that one. Or the shooting competition. Dead not heated, jumps over cold can certainly have an effect. Oh, it was everyone on here from the UK. I'll have a look. Um, Ball Frog's from, I don't know where he's from. He's not from over here, though. <laughs> um, Ball Frog's from some fucking, I don't even think he's from Earth. Now, I think the majority of people on here, oh, Slingshot Wise from America. Bullfrog said, another one, Jack. That's why I said, yeah, Bullfrog, one, two every week now. RDP should be up on the wall, oh, wait, it's Mounts, lol, getting you two mixed. Oh, yeah, Mounts, yeah, that is a nice gun. You know what? I never even knew he had that um, gun. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? And now you say that, that is very um, James Bond-esque, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never, I didn't even know he had that gun. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Pocket for the majority of your subs UK basin. I'll tell you what, about five years ago, it used to be something like 30% American and then all the rest lower, 30% American, 20% English, and then other countries. It's changed over the last five years, maybe less, to um, it's now something like 40% English, then American, and then whatever other countries. That was when I changed my content slightly. Jumble Salbu said to Pocket Full, funny you should mention Hope. Um, BC, mate. Been there a couple of times. Been involved in a number of videos regarding the movie with a friend of Atia. And so I said, look up Octopus Rift. I have. I've seen that, mate. Yeah. Tony said, Mike, can you recommend a good head talk to me for the night? Um, I couldn't tell you anything specific. I've never really been into head torches, but I threw night in that, do some all right ones. But yeah, I've never really been into them. RDP about the self-defense using an air pistol. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good video as well, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, nice gun that. I didn't even know he had that. Pocket Force said it was an amazing experience, Jumbles. Which is my story. I might try and learn Simon's theme from Castlevania 4 on the organ. It should sound nice. RDP, I'm going to check my sub stats. Be right back. Yeah, I'll tell you quickly if you lot are interested. Let me go to um my analytics quickly. And I'll tell you. I'll let you know when it's there. All right, so at the minute, it's... For the last couple of years, it's been United Kingdom 32%, United States 15%, India 4.4%, Egypt 4.4%, Thailand 3.4%. That's over the last, hang on, let's do it, let's do it the last year. Right, I'll tell you what it was, and that, cause lifetime is completely different. So I'll redo that then. So United Kingdom 17%, United States 15%, then Thailand, Brazil, Indonesia. But if I do lifetime, it's completely different. Over the lifetime of my channel, it was United States 21%, United Kingdom 16%. So it's about the same then, really. United States and United Kingdom are about the same. All right, I'll let you know when I can see the comments again. Uh, Bristol said, I'm from Planet Zenusi. <laughs> Yeah, Stark said, Rich, I have been composing new material all week. I think said, through night, it's 10, tip, 20, fairly good. Yeah. I think there's a head talk to Amazon rechargeable around eight quid. I'm sorry, Bruce, the pocket. Well, yeah. Great people there. The Del Mar Berry and Junkyard locations were ace. Great part of the world. Um, well, on mine, 
RDP. What you are on a computer, I don't know how to do it on anything other than a computer. But if I go up to the top of the page where my icon is, click on your icon and then it will come up with create a studio. Click on create a studio and then look for analytics. And then on the first page, you'll find, um, if you just scroll down that page, you'll see your demographic for the past month, but you can then change it to a year. Wolfrog said, you just called me an alien, Mike. Thought there was no talking about illegal aliens on here. <laughs> Stick to your own rules. <laughs> I don't know about illegal aliens. You're definitely an alien, though. Richard Smith said, I don't know if you saw my organ playing, Jeff. I did cover of Hallelujah on the read organ. RGP said, yeah, laptop. Yeah, so if you go up to your icon, yeah. It's changed it all again, ain't they? If you ain't done it for a long time. Yeah, so I get about equal then. Over the course of the, the year and lifetime, it's around about the same. I get the same amount of Americans and English watching. But I definitely get more um, UK people commenting. What are you going to say? Uh, I don't know. I'll stay on to 11 o'clock. Um, what the fuck have I been saying, man? There's something about the something about the analytics though. So. Oh, my smart said Mike can shit hit the fan, whiskey, vodka, etc., and toiletries would be great bar to tour. Yeah, definitely would, wouldn't they? What might be good to pack stuff like this. Which I've got them. I don't know. Pack these kind of things. Alcatec Turbo Yeast, so you can make some decent um, booze. I know you can make it easily anyway, but if you've got a Turbo Yeast as a starter, you can do it a lot quicker, can't you? Because you can get a stronger alcohol straight away yeah. and quickly. I've never opened that bag. I don't really drink a lot now, so I don't need it. Do not do ask think what you'd get for a Bogra. Think what you'd get for a Bogra, yeah. Any necessities and anything addictive, I suppose. Cigarettes. I must watch the ass the ticket. Shit, Van Bar. <laughs> Alcohol and that will always be one because you can make fuels out of it. You can clean wounds with it. Um, you pissed on it. Quite a few things you can do with it. So everyone got for their dinners tomorrow, your Sunday dinners. Jack Stryker said, I would smoke if it wasn't bad for you. I'm glad I stopped smoking. Uh, it's just another, I'm glad this is another vice I haven't got. But really, my only vices now are uh, coffee. Everyday vices, it's only coffee, really. And I could definitely live without that. But yeah, I was saying that though, yeah, Jack, I um I have thought, yeah. I thought, yeah, if um smoking wasn't bad for you in the slightest, yeah, I think I probably would. But um now that I don't, now that I've given up, I never would ever start again. But um yeah. Yeah, thinking about it. I must like to imagine what lady would do for bog roll and tampons, yeah. Well for the turbo yeast, you should thousand percent go ahead with Becoming a monk. Shave my head. You know, like a monk's thing. Just beekeeper, and I can make mead. Beekeeping monk. These jumps said I have a whole course of antibiotics stored. Um, that's worth shit hit fan times, you reckon? Yeah, that would be a massive um, thing, wouldn't it? Uh, that people would want. 
yeah, you get a lot of stuff for that. Well, the people have got stuff to trade for it, though, isn't it? That's the problem. Other than the stuff that's expensive, if you're an addict, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my only real vice, daily vice, is um, coffee now, and that so that doesn't really affect your health. Don't really cost a lot of money. Um. I'm a Spartan. Uh, as you said, I'm a Spartan Moss. Yeah, that's an old thing, isn't it, for um, sanitary towel things, isn't it? Well, I'm a Spartan said roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. I think we've got roast. We have roast pork, apple sauce, roast potatoes, parsnips, carrots. Back on the food again. Jack Stark says Shed Ninja is a coffee addict. Yeah, yeah, I remember his um, what was it called? That weird stuff he had. With the um the uh, oil in it or the put some kind of fat in it, didn't he? He's a jump said honey roast ham and spuds. All frogs said bulletproof coffee. That's it, yeah, bulletproof coffee, yeah. That's right, power right, Sam. He said, Didn't didn't you make really strong beer once with special yeast? Um have you thought about making a still? Yeah, it used to be like 21 21, 20 percent um flavourless uh but I never thought about making a steel because I just I thought it was too risky. I wouldn't want to end up fucking hurting myself or blinding someone. Or <laughs> yeah, I always thought it was too risky. Personally, I didn't want to risk it and um, it either blowing up or summer or uh, making someone go fucking blind or summer. Too risky. I always thought personally the um, twenty percent stuff was all right. It was good enough. If you um if you purified it properly, it would actually taste uh just like half drink vodka. Oh from said yuck. Uh extra zoo said beekeeping. I was going to get into the bee business but didn't want to get stung. <laughs> RDP project said my most watched video has two hundred seventy five thousand views. It's my guitar and the sharpness test we posted. No, oh, nice, that's some decent views, isn't it? I must have said egg powdered, powdered egg, tin beef spam, white rice is good. Camera. I thought, yeah, I thought that was your Sunday dinner tomorrow. Then that striker said I made cherry brandy this week. I have a couple of cherry trees. Well, one of the boozes I made was um cherry, um like a cherry home brew, about twenty percent. But um, so yeah, but not brandy. And it was made from tinned. Cherry juice. Nice though. Tastes like actual real wine as well. That's why I was said my boss at work as a still he said if you buy the right kit you can't go wrong. Yeah, I have seen them, but um yeah, I can't afford things. That's why I do the homebrew in the first place. If you could make five litres of homebrew for probably the equivalent of like fifty P's worth of stuff. But yeah, you can get proper um stills now, can't you? That are just electric. And um but yeah. I don't know. I never, never, never had much interest in it. Because it's another process, isn't it? I just, we just, once that was done, drink it. <laughs> Most of what we have doing, while I was doing it, was to just drink anyway. Dean the Dumps said, have you ever tried wild boar? Um, we did Tamworth wild boar here last time. Best tasting pork I've had. No, I've never had um, wild boar. I would, though. And that's about I said, don't forget baked beans. Yeah. It was who said, just on shit hit hand hygiene, sponges last a lot longer than arse wipes, multiple use, don't weigh anything, squash to nothing, carry free. Yeah, that's a good idea. Isn't that what the old Romans used to use, sponges, or someone did, didn't they? I must have said, flour for flatbread, I like port wine and cherry brandy. Quite a few boozes I like, but... Um, the majority of the time, I don't get to drink what I would like. <laughs> that's what I said. Exactly but as you know, women love comfort, so real soap, bog roll, etc. is better. Yeah, you'd have to go back to the old ways, wouldn't you? That's why it's, it's good to know. If that kind of stuff ever happened, it's good to know the old ways. Because you'd have to go back. And it'd be good to have a lot of that old kind of stuff, like hand-cranked things um you know the victorian kind of stuff 
Right, so hang can toss driven by a fucking steam engine. As was powerful shit in the van top situation, it would be good to be able to distill alcohol, maybe grow tobacco, those things are very tradable. Yeah, exactly. That's why they're mentioning um sanitary towels and that as well. Yeah. It definitely would. I've tried growing tobacco before, and it was possible. Um, better if you have a big greenhouse. We were doing it in our conservatory. Uh, you can't get it as good as um, cigarette tobacco, but it's it's all right. It's still tobacco, and it would be good enough in a um, you know in a shit hit the fan trading situation. Richard Smith, I've got to go. Mike to make stream. Do you like? Do you like Rich? You're not on the old Twitch thing later if I'm on. I don't know if I will be, definitely, but I probably will. Bullfrog said, most recent ex-girlfriend like those coffees that had ice in called Ice Mocha and Mocha, whatever um, it called. I'd rather eat your corpse. Yeah, I've never had them, I don't think. That's why I said, Bullfrog, do you go through plenty of women? Well, Thanks to Dwight Mass Barton agreed, mate. When we were younger, I showed her how to shit in a bag. <laughs> but now it's a bucket with toilet seat. Yeah. Yeah, that's that guy, isn't it? Dwight Mass Barton said, could you not make a pulp and dry it out to find sawdust and dry it into bowl graph? Well, I suppose you could. It'd be quite thick. But yeah, I think that probably would work, wouldn't it? That's, that's how you make paper, don't you? Yeah, you probably could. You'd, like I said, you would just go to the old ways of doing things um, eventually. But I know what you mean. People do like their luxuries and would miss them. And not me, said the bullfrog. Unless you are vegetarian, you have eaten the thought. Probably not support you. Yeah, good point. Yeah, not a bad little bag, that. Do for what I wanted when I'm just going down my local woods and I don't need to carry a lot. Black Striker said, what's the best natural thing to use to wipe your ass? A leaf, isn't it? Yeah, moss, I suppose, as well, yeah. Stock leaves work okay. Depending on what on your eat, depending on what you're eating, you might actually not need to come out nice and solid. Oh, I'd have bloody conversations and I'd go strange, wouldn't they? I must want a little packet of pocket, pocket tissues are best to trade. Very compact. Yeah, I like them for bug out bags because they're quite small. Most of my bug out bags have either got them um, pocket tissues and some little thing of baby wipes. In terms of ferns, are good agitators for stubborn drops. Things are old ways, we'll eventually need to revert back to nature in this planet, not right the arse out of it. Yeah, we'll probably end up having to go right back to the old days one day, wouldn't we? Probably won't be a long dead, but um Extra two hundred, yeah, best natural ass white good old water, yeah. Well you know, I was gonna say that or your hand and then just wash your hand. Yeah, water or well, water on your hand, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, said not there. Who started at this time? If Jack Striker started at this time. <laughs> I must want to let you do you won't live long enough. Disease will be rife.
have one out tomorrow or anything. I probably won't be doing a lot tomorrow. I probably won't do a video. I might see if I can do a video, but half the time it's better for me to do videos um, in the week. I did do a nice cut, the bottle cutting videos, and I got six cuts. But as I didn't beat seven, I thought there's no point uploading it. Um, yeah. I'm as smart and said, um, flannel and wash it after. Yeah, exactly. This was in the days of old when nights were bold and paper was not invented. They wipe their ass with blades of grass and walk away contented. <laughs> Pat Strike said, if there's, a, if there's a river or a running stream, lower your ass down. More or less, gently wipe the select out with a selection of soft mask. Next was in I'm as smart and agreed. What was a big issue now? And my grandchild, uh, grandkids reach 50. Who knows? I had a piece that I was thinking about going mudlarking along the Thames River tomorrow. Then I'll check the temperatures for tomorrow. 30 degrees plus and I hope staying home now. Yeah, I don't blame you, um, RDP. I'll, um, I'll probably end up just sitting indoors. Um, yeah. Might see if I can do a video. Even I can't even do videos near after because it's too hot to not have the fan on. I don't like doing videos with the fan on unless it's a live stream because it's too noisy. Bullfrog said, I was married for 14 months when I was 18, 19, Jack. Neither of the parents were very happy when they were told. And I call teens today dumb on an almost daily basis. Oh, that's what I said. Clothes could be important in the long run. What ones are most durable? Polyester, cotton. Yeah, and shoes. You know, I bet there's a lot of people it would be completely fucked when their bottoms of their shoes fall off um, and then they'd be walking around with uh, bare feet and then probably wouldn't last very long. The yeah, so I've been married since 2004. RDP said, I'm so looking forward to cold weather. So am I, mate. So am I. I can't get anything done. You know, it's all right if you don't mind the hot weather. I don't. I just, I don't agree with my body. I can't get anything done. So, yeah, I'll be glad when it's cold again or cool. Get some stuff done. I'm not touched any of the stuff I was making. It's too hot. Struggling to even do videos in here because it's too hot. <clears throat> ah, well. I'm like that, though. You would never see me complain it's too cold, though. I'm not one of these who complains it's too hot and complains it's too cold. I've never been too cold. I'm not spotting you could use a piece of old tyre for repair. Yeah, exactly. Well, we would know, but that's what I mean. There's a lot of people who wouldn't have a fucking clue about making um, uh, shoes. We would know. But um, I bet there's loads and loads of people who wouldn't have a fucking clue when the bottoms of their shoes run out, fall off, what they could do. I was going to do a video on um, some kind of homemade shoes once just because I'd noticed no one had ever really done them. I think some people have done them now, but there was no videos at one point on YouTube of anyone making survival shoes. I think Dave Canterbury did one in the end, but no one had. No one had done a single video on survival about um, shoes. Malcolm might have. Yeah, old tyres. Um, if it came to it, you might have to... Um, well, there's, there's a couple of things you could do, aren't there? But, uh, yeah, I bet there'd be a lot of people who wouldn't have a fucking clue. That's why I said, anyone see the video of someone making shoes from motorbike tires in Africa? No, I hadn't seen that. They're not decent. I've been married twice. The first one died because she ate some poisonous mushrooms. The second one died with a fractured skull. The pitch wouldn't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> That's as bad as that three bloody Zulu's one. <laughs> Um, it was even a Jack Sparkin night advert. RDP says, Fuck, I just found out Patrick Stewart is coming back to play John Luke Picard. <laughs> what, are they doing a new series of that then, or a film or something? Jack Striker said, I did a video of making shoes out of milk jugs about three years ago. Yeah, that rings a bell now. I love a cold, but being kinetic is an incentive to keep warm. 
These dumps a very good point about shoes. You should make a bid. Yeah, I'll have to just get in the stuff, but yeah. But I bet there's a lot of people who wouldn't have a clue how to even repair a shoe. But um make a shoe. As you fuck when your shoes go. You can't be walking around in stony areas with no shoes on. Yeah, you know, I suppose you can, but that would be very comfortable. You can go very far if your feet ain't used to it. I'm a Spartan Mike. It's good if people don't know about making stuff. We can get their valuables from others. <laughs> but you can make some kind of shoes. If you get some kind of leather, you can make some shoes with a wooden sole. Yeah, Indian moccasins. They are. RDP just said it. Yeah. Are the easiest. Yeah. Indian moccasins on their own, but then if you want to, you could probably put some kind of soft wood. You know, if you get a bit of wood that's quite pliable, as a sole or something. But yeah, there's a lot of people who don't know, they don't have a clue because they just assume their boots are going to last forever. Or their shoes. I must like moccasins. Oh, I've read that one. RDP said Indian moccasins are the easiest to make. That's joke, we don't. Why don't we all make a pair of shoes for a challenge? <laughs> If you want to, I'll, I'll be up for that. Where's my fucking book of stuff? I can't promise anything like quick though, because so I've got to make sure I can get the stuff. But um, I suppose if I had to make some joke ones, I could. Um, yeah, I'll write that down, Jack. I'll be up for that. Shoe making challenge. They are written it down. That might happen. It well, it will happen, but I don't know how soon. I've got to look to see if I've got some stuff to make some. Jim Jim said I'll try it. Sneaky snake, you're right, mate. Just salutations. Ball Frog said Mike weaponize <laughs> shoe shop. There you go, job. Perfect. I'd do some of those fucking shoes with the blades coming out of them. RDP uh Dead wood as a base with leather on the top of Danish clogs. Yeah, exactly. Old school clogs have carved from one piece of wood. I'm as much as Jack's got a good idea. I'm in. Jack's like said, I'm up for it. I'll make some. I'll start making some plans now. I'll see what I've got. Um, but yeah. But yeah, see, you know, sandals. Sandals would be reasonably easy to make, wouldn't they? In a in a proper shit hit the fan, I'd rather have something right up my foot though. But a sandal would be better than nothing. It would at least protect the soles of your feet, wouldn't it? I almost want to say shoes out of everyday items, only the easy rubbish room side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be something like that. Something that you would find something that you might find in the wild um, and it can be anywhere, you know, it can be like the UK wild. If I was in my woods, I would find old tires and shit like that. Um, not, you know, we can do proper wilderness if you want, but, um, but you could, I say we could imitate it. So if you can get some leather, we'll pretend that you killed an animal and, um, cause you could get leather in the wild cause you could kill an animal, tan it, you get leather. So, um, but if you want to buy some leather, or if you've got some leather, you don't actually have to get it from an animal. Yeah, anything you could get potentially in a shit fan situation. But yeah, I can't guarantee when this is going to happen, but I'll, I'll give it a go. It's on the list. Never worn a sandal in my entire life, Bullfrog. I bet you have, don't you? I don't wear Jesus creepers, mate. <laughs> Double I remember that show where Joanna Romley made shoes out of her bra. Uh, well, such a thing as reincarnation and all that. <laughs> what old, old Joanna Romley or young? <laughs> I'm had to trust me, landfill style milk bottles, tin cans, etc. Yeah, that way. 
Let me tell us if you can buy a block of leather in hardware store. Chris says, sandals are good. They never wear out and you can walk on water. Just ask Jesus. <laughs> if I was saying that, yeah, I may have wore flip-flops as a kid. Never as an adult. I remember getting smacked on the ass by a um, flip flop once. Then I made the fatal mistake of saying that didn't hurt. And then away went the flip flop, and out just came a harder hand. <laughs> okay. RDP project said um, four thick pieces for the base, two are punched with holes for the laces, then. Wrapped over the feet, up your leg, and then the second flat piece is glued underneath to um, cover, protect the laces underneath. Warfall said, Jesus creepers, how are you going to be a monk if you hate sandals? <laughs> you bash Jesus. Uh, next dog said, I have Crocs. <laughs> I just can't, I can't wear anything that don't connect to your foot properly. You know, it's got to come up the side of my foot and cover my foot. I just can't. I can't walk properly and things like that. Wellies, even welly, Wellington boots, I can't wear them because they don't fit your feet properly. I have to be, it has to be tight on the feet and I'm moving. I'm a sour boots at even, mate. So you still fit for our age. Well, uh, where is it? The old boys wear Jesus creepers with knee eye and socks. I'm a sour boots, lots of duct tape wrapped around the feet would be good in the shit. Yeah, that's, you're going to do that? Tony said, here's a clue, Mike. Hardy, um, Peter, flip-flops, yeah, I've called Fongs in um, Australia. Poor rabbit skins and tree bark, yeah, exactly. Oh, I've got loads of ideas. I could, um, you know, the thing with the moccasins, I've actually got a plan. I've got the plans for, you can make shoes out of leather, one piece of leather, uh, if it's cut right, it fits right around your foot and you just put a lace through it. you just got to cut it right in the first place. So it all folds around each other. I think that's the moccasins. I could come up with no end of ideas. As as I'd already thought about I'd already thought of the, um, the tyre shoes. Military has said, a part of the factory near me exploded. It's all over the news and... The air is bad as hell. It stinks so much. They said people shouldn't go outside. I'm lucky I have a gas mask. What country are you in then, military? Oh, Bosnia, says on your thing. <laughs> I know Spartan said in the old days, people wore hobnail shoes, basically stud for grip. Tony said four rabbit skins and tree bark. Yeah, exactly. And uh, doing them to duct tape being another thing keeps. Yeah, duct tape would be very handy um, in a. Uh, Shit in the fan, wouldn't it? Bullfrog said, I have some Crocs, Jack. He survives Dad's Belgian Shepherd, Wrath, and I was looking after him. No one's about to plywood with studs. I think we were feet off and overlooked. Yeah, I, I think definitely so. As I said, at the time, this was probably five or six years ago, when I was thinking about doing the, the shoe video. As far as I was aware, there wasn't any videos of anyone making... um any kind of survival shoes. Kamasabu said, the thing is, if you wear brown socks with Jesus creepers, you also need to have flip up sunshades and clip to your bifocal spectacle. That's right, I think showing your toes in public is disgusting. And <laughs> with flip flops in public, yuck. As I said, I've never worn them as an adult. Uh, it's just there's not enough protection on my feet. That's why I don't wear shorts either. I have to. I don't like. I know you don't mind wearing shorts, do you, Jack? And I'm, I think Liam, he don't mind wearing shorts. I can't. Shorts to me, it's too. My legs are too exposed. I like to have my legs covered for protection against branches and. You know, that sounds weird. Might, well, it probably don't sound weird.
Just another, another little layer of protection, isn't it? That's my surreal boy, mate. I'm tired. Thanks for great stream to you in 10 days. Yeah, have a good holiday, mate. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we're currently there on my current belly. In the terrace, when did you start collecting weapons? Ah, uh, I don't know, probably about the age of 15. I always liked them as a kid, though. I must like to did in the military. Feet are the main priority health wise. A rotten foot man cannot soldier. Wolfrog said the Muslims wear flip flops. These and uh, some of us like seeing people with hairy toes, especially when it's Eastern European women. Exodus said, I must like nothing better than a powdered one's toes on the spot. Mike, what is your favourite gangster movie? Uh, I don't know. I've always liked the craze. But I actually. And me and my kids, we actually rehearsed to be in that, the original one. Um, I like Scarface, uh, Goodfellas, Godfather 1 and 2. But I like them all about equal, really. I don't know what would be my favourite. Probably the Craze original film. But only because I could have been in it. Next time I said, I always find, I always think what, if you get into a fight with flip-flops on, they would fly off and you'd be fighting bare feet. Yeah, you know, that's partly what I think. You know, if, it, if it happened and you couldn't, you know, um, you know, or if you had to run somewhere or something, it's, that's impossible. <laughs> I'm mad smart, I wear flip-flops indoors, so do one. No, the indoors is a bit different, isn't it? I don't even walk around my house without shoes on. As soon as I go out my room, I've got my trainers on. Dean the Dumb said, when's the deadline for the shooting clock? My shotgun's being repaired. Might have to do cover. Uh, ages, mate. You've probably got at least another month, maybe more. All folks said, bare feet like caveman warrior. Yeah. You'd definitely be at a disadvantage, though, if you start to fight someone with a decent pair of boots on. <laughs> that's, why, cause that's why I always wear strong boots, summer and winter alike. Yeah, yeah. That way. You, you can't do nothing in um, flip-flops or something like that, realistically, if, if a situation arises. Right, that's it, 11 o'clock. I'm going to go off at 11 I appreciate you all. I've been reading the fucking top chat to the live chat. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Poor oh, man's maracas. Right, that's it. I'm going to call it a day now. Yeah, I've still got some Doc Martin from 2000. Hey, what's that? 18 years old. RDP, be right back. Oh, I'm going off now, mate. So um, unless you want to join the uh, Twitch stream. I'll see you all later. Yeah, that was a good chat, that was. Um, yeah, see you later, Bullfrog. See you later, Jack. Jumble Sabu, Jeans and Jumper, RDP, Iron Man Spartan. Who else we got on? XA Zulu, Military and Surplus, Jeans and Jumper. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Iron Man, yeah. Oh, Colonel Mustard, see you later. See you later, Liam. <coughs> I've not seen that, um, Colonel Muscle. I'll have to check that out. Right, I'll see you all later. Cheers for watching.